And a fatal house fire in Swain County was likely caused by faulty wiring in a Christmas tree. The victim was 59-year-old Estel Hoyle of Bryson City. Family and friends say his son did the best he could to save his father's life. News 13's Frank Crocker is live in the Western News Center. And Frank, what a family tragedy. It's one of those things that just breaks your heart. A family gets together for the holidays and one of them is lost. Where there should be traditional red and green colors of the season, there is only yellow sheriff's tape signifying a fire line not to be crossed. The little evidence of Christmas that is still here, strands of outdoor lights wrapped around a porch railing. It appears it was indoor decorative lighting that caused all this. That the um, fire marshal determined that it was the Christmas tree. It was a Christmas tree fire. And he was asleep in the back room. He was Estel Hoyle, a Swain County man who died early Sunday evening in the house on Arlington Avenue. The age of the wooden two-story also likely played a part in what happened here. I've got some pictures from this neighborhood in the 1935, and that house is in the pictures. So it's, uh, it's been here a long time, so old houses don't do well in a fire. Fire went and went fast. It's a very old house. Pay was a good man. He was a great father. It, um, He's got some wonderful kids. And one of those kids is Hoyle's son, Rocky, who was there and did all he could. And he said he kicked the door in, went in and got him. He said a big pillow of smoke hit him, and he went in and got him and brought him out and tried to do CPR and mouth to mouth, and he was gone. It's a nice neighborhood, lived here all my life. Uh, you hate to see things like that happen. Especially around the new year, that's hard on people. It's just tragic. He lost his best friend two years ago. I just hope they're together. Astral Hoyle is survived by four children, three sons and one daughter. He was also a veteran. Reporting live in the Western News Center, Frank Rocker, News 13.